Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harrington, and joining me on camera today is a very special, very unique, and very interesting mushroom. It's one that I don't see too often here in western Pennsylvania, but it is related to a mushroom that I use almost on a daily basis for medicine. So all around me is a reishi mushroom. And maybe you're familiar with reishi mushrooms. They've been used for centuries, if not for millennia, specifically in traditional Chinese medicine. Now the one that I'm used to seeing is the hemlock reishi mushroom, Ganoderma suge. That one typically fruits in early summer from dead hemlock trees, and maybe you've had a lot of luck finding that one. This is a different species. If you take a look around me, you don't see too many conifer trees. There's a lot of deciduous trees. So this one is what a lot of people call the yellow reishi mushroom, Ganoderma curtisii. And it typically fruits from the bases of dead trees or stumps of hardwood tree species. But there are a few key identifying characteristics that you want to keep in mind when you're looking to positively identify this yellow reishi mushroom, Ganoderma curtisii. Like all reishi mushrooms, this one is a woody fungal species. And it's got a kidney-shaped cap of uh, bands of varying colors. So you're looking at whites, you're looking at yellows, especially near the margin. You're seeing oranges and reds. But what's very interesting is that with Ganoderma curtisii, you see hues of purples and blues. And it's not always so apparent, it's kind of subtle, but you can detect it, especially when you're looking at this mushroom in person. So this is what we call a lacate species within the Ganoderma genus. So lacate species have that varnished cap surface to it, whereas the non-lacate species don't have that varnished cap. And most of the reishi mushrooms have that varnished cap, including Ganoderma curtisii, but that varnish appearance tends to fade with age. Now the stalk of this mushroom is eccentrically to laterally oriented. And this mushroom is a polypore, so on the underside you're not seeing gills, you're not seeing teeth, you're looking at a pore surface. And that pore surface contains thousands of tiny little pores from where the spores are dispersed. And this mushroom, as I said before, tends to fruit from the bases of hardwood trees, especially the dead trees. So it's a saprophytic mushroom and it helps to break down the plant cell wall compounds like lignin, cellulose, and hemicellulose. And you're typically looking at the eastern United States to find this mushroom, primarily in the southeastern United States, but it will work its way up and down the east coast. Now being that this is a reishi mushroom, can we assume that this has medicinal properties like other reishi mushrooms? And yes, this mushroom is medicinal, and there are a few studies documenting the medicinal properties found within Ganoderma curtisii. There are two that I want to share with you, two studies, two recent studies. One was published in 2016 in the journal Bioorganic and Medicinal Chemistry Letters, showing that extracts had potent anti-inflammatory properties, specifically by inhibiting a molecule within our bodies known as nitric oxide. So nitric oxide in normal physiological levels has anti-inflammatory effects. But overproduction of nitric oxide can lead to excessive inflammation and inflammation all throughout our bodies. And so the molecules responsible for this anti-inflammatory property, they're known as lanostain triterpenoids. And there have been at least 29 isolated from Ganoderma curtisii. So another study published in 2016 in the Journal of Medicinal Plant Studies found that extracts, both dual extracts, also ethanol extracts, had antioxidant effects because they had high levels of antioxidant compounds known as polyphenols. So dual extracts are very easy to make at home. Same with ethanol extracts. And that's what I plan to do with this mushroom. I'm going to harvest a few of these fruiting bodies, bring them home, dry them out, and then I will make a very special dual extraction because I've actually never consumed this mushroom. I'm very used to consuming Ganoderma suge, so I'm really excited to bring this one home and make it a part of my medicinal strategy, and essentially make it a part of my body. Now before we wrap up, I just want to mention a few points about the name Ganoderma curtisii. Where do we get that? So ganos means brilliant or sheen, and derma is skin for the waxy, lacquered cap of this mushroom. And then curtisii is named after a man, Moses Ashley Curtis. He was born in Massachusetts and spent most of his life in North Carolina as a teacher, as a priest, as a botanist, and as a mycologist. And it seems that he's most well known for his work in mycology. He studied, he documented, he collected, and he named various fungal species. Now this one wasn't named by him, it was named for him by a friend. But Curtis did name several mushroom species, including the abortive Entoloma species, also an edible milk cap mushroom, Lactarius hygrophoroides. So if you ever see a genus and a species name, and then after it says Curtis, either in parentheses or not in parentheses, it was probably named first or documented first by Moses Ashley Curtis. So there we have it. The yellow reishi mushroom, Ganoderma curtisii, a fantastic medicinal mushroom. I encourage you to get out there this time of year and look for it, specifically at the bases of hardwood trees and stumps, especially if you live in the eastern half of North America. Thanks so much for watching this video. Happy Medicinal Mushroom Monday.